none of y'all beat me. Boy, I'm so good, it feel like I'm cheating. A well of the storm, I feel like a season. This type of drive could push Lamborghinis. I get you some sign to have your own sneaker. I'm in the band, I'm pushing the meter. A legend like John for everyday people. I got the heart of a champion. I got the blood of a winner. I don't know how to be stagnant. I got way too much ambition. I keep on beating the distance. How would I be denied? My only option is winning.
Stadium on the campus of Hope College. My name is Alan Babbitt, Sports Information Director here, ready to bring you play-by-play -play for today's series finale and the home opener for the Flying Dutchman baseball team as they look for the sweep against Trine University. Flying Dutch won uh, both games uh, in Angola, Indiana on Friday, got rained out on Saturday, and trying to fit it in before as the weather forecast looks shakier and shakier as the evening goes on. Hope 2-0 in MIAA play, Trine 0-2. Both teams similar records overall, Hope 8 and 10, while Trine is 8 and 11. And uh, exciting day, always exciting time, opening day, going across Major League Baseball and home opener here for the Flying Dutchman. Of course, they've been busy, been able to get south of Michigan to get to warmer clients, had a successful finish to a trip in Florida with four straight wins uh, down south and uh, play a little bit more, but now the attention turns to MIAA and trying to win a league title for head coach Du Fritz uh, in his um, 31st and final season at the helm uh, for the Flying Dutchman. And uh, they are e off to a good start, but looking for a serious sweep. A busy week for Hope. Scheduled game against uh, Kalamazoo tomorrow. The regular defending MIAA regular season champion, then University of Chicago for a non-league contest um, this weekend. And then uh, back to MIAA play with another three-game series uh, this weekend. Getting about ready to introduce our starting lineups here momentarily. Just waiting for the umpires on the hill for the Flying Dutchman today is Graham O'Gorman. Looking for his first win of the season. Uh, was a workhorse last year for Hope, 7-2 and two with a 4-9. 0.94 ERA, about two to one strikeout to walk ratio. Hasn't found his groove yet. 0-3 in ERA, just 9.49, uh, 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 but had a very solid outing. Uh, five innings, only two earned runs allowed. Last time he took the hill for the Flying Dutchman, so he'll look to uh, build off of that and give the uh, Flying Dutchman the pitching they need in this one. Big pitching. Uh, uh, in the doubleheader sweep down at Trine on Friday, Trent Johnson went the distance in that contest in game one of that. And then it was uh, Matt Plain and Ian Sanders closing the door for starter Mason Belmore in uh, game number two, a six to five victory. And the second one for Hope as they scored two runs in the bottom of the eighth to take a, a one run lead. And then Ian Sanders slammed the door shut for his second save of the season. And uh, they moved that one up in anticipating of what was a wise decision with the weather being what it is. And um, they were able to get two games in and uh, very compact schedule for the MIAA, trying to fit in three three-game series with each league opponent. Most of those will be over a Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday, depending on the institution. But then um, one series that will be sprinkled in with single games throughout the week, all nine-inning games here for the MIAA ser series. Head coach Stu Fritz uh, heading to exchange starting lineup with our umpire crew. And uh, head coach Greg Persky in his 23rd season at the helm at, with the Thunder. Our uh, umpires today, Kevin McNeese, Kevin we uh, Weber, or Weber, and Chad Williams uh, will for this uh, three-man crew. Starting uh, lineup for the Flying Dutchman uh, in center field and batting leadoff is Robbie Sturzma, the senior. Batting second, the designated hitter, hitter today, Elliot Peter, a freshman. At first base, number six, uh, batting third, Owen Krizan. Uh, in right field, sophomore Charlie Saul wearing number nine. In left field, uh, Brendan Collins, number 16 today. Uh, and then uh, batting next, Nolan Gardner, the senior second baseman wearing number eight. And then batting uh, at shortstop is Devin Musin wearing number 11. At the hot corner at third base is Al Money wearing number two. Behind the plate, senior Andrew Pickett uh, wearing number five. And he'll be the battery mate. His battery mate will be Graham O'Gorman. Uh, for the Thunder, uh, leading off and batting shortstop and making his first appearance of the season, sophomore Tyler Wise wearing number one. And then in center field, number 26, Daniel Rumberger. And then uh, the Thunder's leading hitter, 
uh, wearing number 11 and playing first base today, that is Dalton Nykirk. And then batting cleanup for the Thunder and playing third base is Joel Walton. And then right field and wearing number 16 is Brody Bond. And then in left field and uh, wearing number two, that'd be Easton Rhodes, a designated hitter. And uh, behind the plate for the Thunder is Nathan Gimlet. Uh, G Gilman, and then, uh, or, sorry, Gilman's the uh, designated hitter, uh, and then behind the plate for Trine, uh, Preston Henschen wearing number 20, and then batting ninth, uh, and playing second base for the Thunder is uh, Luke Burford, and then on the mound for the Thunder, uh, Rylan McBride, a right-hander, Graham O'Gorman, a right-hander as well, and uh, Klein Dutchman uh, remained unbeaten in MIAA play. Um, they uh, are joined uh, who, uh, all their teams that have had successful starts. Uh, Kalamazoo and Calvin both 3-0 and as they swept Albion and Olivet. Uh, Hope is 2-0 and and then uh, Adrian and Elmer are one win apiece. They have some other MIAA uh, games uh, scheduled. Not today, though. We'll get another time of making those up. It looks like tomorrow we have Albion and Olivet playing each other. Calvin and Alma, of course, Hope at Kalamazoo, and then Adrian as at trying. Again, about a uh, little more than probably about six weeks to fit in this season. And we will pause here for our national anthem. there for a second just waiting a little pause here while we wait for our hope starters to be introduced and into the field and then we will have our national anthem glad to have you here today and opening day here at booby stadium spring baseball in michigan it's one of those things you play 18 games away from home before you get a chance but you revel the weather is even remarkably decent to play some baseball here and a lot of rich tradition here at Booby Stadium. Fans will introduce the starting lineups and, uh, of the we'll Thunder. Hand we'll hand it over to our public address announcer, up. Mr. Tom Davilar, as he introduces our uh, starting hope starters. And then we'll go to our national anthem. Now it's leading off number four, Robbie Sturzma in center field. Sturzma. Number 13, Elliot Peter is your designated hitter. 13, D.H., Elliot Peter. Number six, Owen Crozan is at first base. Crozan at first. Your cleanup hitter, number nine for the Flying Dutchman, Charlie Saul in right field, Saul. Number 16, Brendan Collins is stationed in left field, Collins in left. Number eight, Nolan Gardner, second baseman, Gardner. Number one, Devin Mewson is at shortstop. Mewson at short. Number two, Al Money is your third baseman. Money at third. Behind the plate, number five, Andrew Pickett. Catching today for the Flying Dutchman. And on the mound, number 23, Greg. O'Gorman starting for Hope College. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we invite you to please rise. Our flag flying proudly over the scoreboard in left center field. Please enjoy our national anthem. It's performed by a friend of the program, Mr. Lee Greenwood. Oh, say can you see.
Thank you, Lee, and thank you, Fan. Have baseball here at Booby Stadium, 2024 home opener for the Flying Dutchman. Graham O'Gorman takes the mound. Flying Dutchman wearing their all-white home uniforms. Some blue and orange trim sprinkled in there. Blue numbers with an orange trim there. Trine with uh, their road grays, including dark charcoal for the jerseys. Graham, a senior from Champaign, Illinois. Also, this game kicks off D3 week here at Hope College. Celebration uh, with our member schools across the country, Division Three baseball and Division Three softball, and you name the sport, and uh, we're proud to be part of Division Three and celebrate this week and the wonderful opportunities it provides to student athletes all over the country and including right here in Holland, Michigan. Graham in his last start against Milliken gave up three hits, two earned runs, walked three, and struck out five. His best performance of the season and looking to build on that here. There's sun peeking out. We'll welcome that here on a chilly 50 degree, degree day here at Booby Stadium. Sorry, I had the mistake there. Cole Temple, the shortstop. Lead off for Hope. Takes ball one here. Check swing, gets the called strike, evens the count at one and one. Cole comes in batting 250 on the season. Takes that ball down in the dirt. Two and one the count. Swing and fouled out of play. Evens the count at two and two. Ball upstairs, run the count full. Cole, a freshman from Yorktown, Indiana. Swing and a miss. Graham O'Gorman gets his first strike out of the game. And Daniel Rumberger will step to the plate for the Thunder. Daniel with a 323 batting average coming into the season. One home run, six RBIs. Ball upstairs. All fouled out of play over the trying dugout. Breaking pitch lined into the center field. One out single for Runberger. And our first of the ball game today. Dalton Knight, Kirk now steps to the plate for the Thunder. Dalton, their top hitter with a 394 average, 50, or 16 RBIs on the season. Eight walks to just three strikeouts. So tough out here for the Thunder this season. 
Takes that pitch inside. Swing and a miss. Throw down. Uh, first and a pickoff attempt from Andrew Pickett. But Lundberger slides in safely. Count one and one. Gorman checks his sign. Breaking pitch on the corner. Called strike, one and two to count. Nice snap on that one to go right into the mitt of Andrew Pickett. Runner on the move, soft grounder to short. Houston scoops it, throws to first, retires Nykirk. Runberger moves up to second. Moves into scoring position, but the Flying Dutchmen have got Thunder down to their final out here in the top of the first. Again, scheduled nine-inning game today here at Bowie Stadium. All MIAA games will be nine innings in this season. And uh, three-game season series between all the competing schools. Joel Walton takes strike one. Walton batting 339 on this season. Fouls that one. Nykirk up. O'Gorman up on the count here. 0 and 2 on Walton. Breaking ball in the dirt. Good scoop there by Pickett to keep Runberger at second base. One and two the count. Brody Bond on deck for the Thunder. If Walton's able to reach base. Another breaking ball in the dirt. Good square stop there by Pickett. Able to throw down the second with Runberger in standing up. Count even now, two and two. Walton, good patience there, not swinging at those breaking balls. Handcuffs him. Money with the scoop. Throws to first. Nice play by Al Money. Cashes in the third out of the inning. And the Thunder's threat is extinguished. We'll go to the bottom of the first, still scoreless. There is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is hope. Insurance Agency is a proud sponsor of Hope Athletics. Welcome back here to Booby Stadium, bottom of the first. Graham O'Gorman retires three of the four batters he faced. And the Flying Dutch will step to the plate, looking to take an early jump. They did that in the game one victory, scoring four runs in the first inning and made life much easier for starter Trent Johnson. Dutchman will have Sturzma, Peter, and Krizan do up in this inning. Robbie uh, 
batting 294 on the season. Does lead the MIAA with 13 stolen bases, just been thrown out twice. So if he gets on base, he's able to get on the move. This orange bat and orange gloves. And number four will lead off for Ryland McBride, the junior from New Carlisle, Indiana, on the hill. Right-hander throws in strike to even the count at one and one. Breaking ball in the dirt. That one away, two and two to count. Fourth appearance of the season for McBride, still looking for his first win. And that one got away from him. Plucked Robbie in the back harmlessly, and now Flying Dutchman get a base runner aboard and a threat to certainly steal. Designated hitter up now, Elliot Peter from Zionsville, Indiana. Elliot Peter, the designated hitter. Elliot batting 258 on the season. This is his 10th game. Takes ball one away in the dirt. Coach Stufritz has got a mixture of some veterans and some young talent that have been contributing so far this season. Go back to first, Thursma in safely. Thunder will definitely keep an eye on the MIAA's stolen base leader. Takes called strike there at the knees. Evens count at one and one. Throw back to first. Stirs my end safely. On. We'll bat next for the Flying Dutchman. Peter takes another one down the heart of the plate. One and two now to count. Ball misses low. Count even at two and two. Back to first. McBride has only pitched four innings so far this season, all in relief. It's a 7 7 1 earn run average. Called strike three on the corner. Peter down on strikes for the first out of the inning. I'll bring up Owen Krizan, senior. First base. Owen batting 266 on the season, 17 hits, including a home run, a triple, and two doubles. Does have nine RBIs on the season. Ball low. Ball catches the inside corner for strike one. Count even at one and one. New 
Dry checks Sturzma, throws back there. Devin Schaefer is at first base coach for the Flying Dutchman this afternoon. Another throw back to first. Flying Dutchman uh, have associate head coach Chad Ruby, as well as assistant coach and recruiting coordinator Ryan Doyle, and pitching coach Rick Heisman joining Devin on staff for head coach Stu Fritz. Ball misses low. Comes the count to two and one here in the bottom of the first. Kuma, the base runner here in this first inning. Lifted foul out of play. Count now even at two and two. Another throw back to first. And a watchful eye on Sturzma. Breaking ball in the dirt. Sturzma on the move. And he will get into scoring position. See on the wild pitch, Sturzma getting... is full now here. Ball down low on that. Krizan draws a walk. Puts two runners aboard for the cleanup hitter, Charlie Saul. Sophomore out of Batavia, Illinois. Charlie batting 379 on the season. This is his 10th game. Ball misses outside. Charlie has three RBIs, 11 hits, including three doubles for the Flying Dutchman. It in there right on the corner. Strike one, evens the count at one and one. Ball misses low and inside. Two and one the count. Ball gets away. Runners move up to second and third. Flying Dutchman have a breath. Another wild pitch will on the count. Saul takes it just above the knees for strike two. Runs the count full here. Flying Dutchman put the bat on the ball. They might be able to take a lead here. Fouled away out of play. Count remains full. Ball misses outside, and the Flying Dutchman have the bases loaded here with one out in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up Brendan Collins, the left fielder. Brendan batting 290 on the season, 13 RBIs. Has 18 hits, including three doubles and one home run. 
looking to put it in play here for the Flying Dutchman. And 330 down the left and right field poles. Bride misses for ball one. Three fifty-five to right center, three eighty-five to left center, and about three ninety to center field. Grounder sharply hit, leaving the count at one and one. Brendan, a sophomore for Kalamazoo, Michigan, Catholic. Heck at Catholic. The big opportunity here for the orange and blue. Breaking ball misses. Count two and one. Again, with the weather shaky for the later today, any early lead could be pivotal. Collins, close to the plate. Takes a swing, sharply hit. Could be two. Clutch on the throw. And he got him. A big double play for the Thunder. Sharply hit, but right to the shortstop. And the Flying Dutchmen are not no able to capitalize. No run, no hit. No error. Two down. No score in the board. We had to the second inning, still scoreless. Gentex is a tech company supplying electro-optical products to the global automotive, aerospace, and fire protection industries. With focused competencies in design, vision, displays, software, and more, we're always looking for engineering talent. For our direct hire hourly production positions, we run open interviews Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 at our 58 East Riley facility in Zealand. And our facilities, benefits, and culture are everything you'd expect from a world-class employer. Now's the time to join Team Gentex. Welcome back to Movie Stadium. Any number two here in this series finale between the Trine University Thunder and your Hope College Flying Dutchman. Five, six, and seven do up for the Thunder against Hope starter Graham O'Gorman. He's able to strand a Trine runner at second base. And the Thunder's first at bat. Brody Bond will lead off. And he'll be found by Easton Rhodes. And then uh, Nathan Gilmet for the Thunder. Graham finishes his warm up tosses. Brody Bond making his uh, 15th game this season, batting 319. Does have one home run and six yard eyes for the Thunder. Check swing, kind of an emergency swing. As that ball came in on Brody. Fouls it off for strike one. Ball misses low, evens the count. Ball popped up on the infield. Pick at the catcher, tracking it, and will be fouled off. Had a chance there, but kind of drifted on him, heading right toward the dugout. But still at least strike two, one and two the count here. Think Al Money could get a good eye on it either in this uh, kind of overcast sky. Sharply hit, but foul out of play. Count remains one and two. Sun's kind of peeked in and out, but it's probably not going to be with us much at all. Ooh, ball just misses on the corner. Flying Dutchman thought they had strike three. Just miss outside, two and two the count. Sharply hit back up the middle, and that'll be a base hit. Brody Bond takes advantage of his 
collects her life and gets a leadoff single. Number two, Easton Rhodes. Easton Rhodes. Left fielder, Rhodes. Left fielder, third leading hitter for the Thunder coming in today, 350 batting average. The top power hitter with three of the Thunder's 10 home runs. Left hander. Money even at the bag. Bunt fouled out of play for strike one. Easton with 21 hits on the season, including three doubles and three home runs. Pays down a bunt, but that also goes foul, and now he's in an 0-2 hole. Tight on that batter's box, the left-hander. Gorman checks the runner at first. Breaking pitch, that's laced in the left field and a diving attempt. That'll be a base hit. Great attempt there by Brendan Collins. Just not able to get there. The Thunder have runners at first and second and nobody out here in the second. Nathan Gilman up to the plate. Nathan batting 317, two home runs, nine RBIs, also two doubles on the season. Starting to get a little threat brewing here. Grounder to short. The turn in a big 6-4-3 double play for Hope. Runner moves up to scoring position, but the Flying Dutchman will take the two outs. Preston Henshin, the catcher from Fort Wayne, Indiana, will step to the plate. Preston batting 160 on the season. Does have three RBIs, and this is his 14th game. Ball misses low. Nice turn there on that double play. Houston with a good scoop in the hole. Threw it over to Gardner with a quick turn. Be a big two outs for the Flying Dutchman. Ball misses low. Thunder out hitting Hope so far, 3-0. to zero. Hope had the bases loaded in the first, but was unable to capitalize as the Thunder turned to double play. Strike one, two and one the count. Luke Burford on deck for the Thunder. Should Henshin able to reach base. Inside out swing, fouls it off. O'Gorman works his way back to even the count at two and two. Swing and a miss. Graham O'Gorman works out of that. Works out of that jam. Two hits for the Thunder, but leave the runner stranded at third. We head to the bottom of the second, still scoreless. Whether you're building your dream home, buying a fixer upper, or downsizing, the process can feel overwhelming. Let the local team at Lighthouse Title help the closing process be one less worry. Just ask your real estate professional or lender to close at Lighthouse Title. To learn more about how we're involved in our 35 communities or to ask us any questions about the process, Visit us online at lighthousetitle.net. There is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is Hope.
Welcome back to Bowie Stadium here in the bottom of the second. Still scoreless here. Six, seven, and eight due up for the Flying Dutchman. Senior second baseman Nolan Gardner will lead it off, followed by Devin Musen and Al Money. Gardner batting 286 on the season, has a home run, five doubles and 10 RBIs for Hope. The left-hander will face McBride for the Thunder, out for his second inning. Ball sails outside. Gardner hits that one into right field. Flying Dutchman on the board with their first hit of the day. Thanks to a sharp single from their second baseman. That'll bring up Devin Musen, another senior for this Flying Dutchman lineup. Rockford, Michigan and Grand Rapids Christian High School. Devin batting 159 on the season. Does have five RBIs in a home run. Again, 330 down the lines, 385 in left center, 355 in right center, 390 in center field, takes strike one. Throw back to first, Gardner slides back in safely. Flying Dutchman looking to get on the board after squandering an opportunity in the first inning. Loaded the bases, loaded with one out. Mewson looks for McBride's offering, and that hit him. Second hit batter of the day. Breaking ball just hung up there on McBride. And the Flying Dutchman get their first two batters aboard. Al Money steps to the plate. Junior from Midland High School, 280 batting average on the season. One double, eight RBIs. And we will get a pause here as uh, Greg Persky comes out to talk to his reliever. Just one hit on the day, but they've had plenty of base runners, a couple hit batters, a couple walks. And uh, Andrew Pickett is on deck for the Flying Dutchman. Al with an oppor RBI opportunity, looking for his first RBI in five games. He had two in the second game at Milliken and three in the first game of that series for, for the Flying Dutchman, looking for a big opportunity here. Will Tapper hit softly. Play made the first. Not a sacrifice bunt, but as good as one as Al gets the runners over into scoring position. Runners at second and third, one out for Andrew Pickett, senior catcher from Carmel, Indiana. Get a big RBI opportunity for the Flying Dutchman as they look to take the lead here. Right down the heart of the plate for strike one. A little activity in the Trying bullpen, looks like a right-hander is throwing. Again, McBride's only pitched four innings so far this season. Little pop-up, shallow right. Second baseman circling and makes a nice catch. The runners will hold, and a big pitch for McBride. As he gets a pop-out, that'll bring it to the top of the order. And Robbie Sturzma, who was hit by a pitch, in his first at bat today, we'll try to take advantage of another scoring opportunity for the Flying Dutchman. Uh, 
And another hit batter, and that loads the bases. Again, that command just not there for McBride today. That's his third hit batter just on pitches that got away from him. And Elliot Peter looking for his second trip to the plate. And a big scoring opportunity is the Flying Dutchman to have the bases loaded again here in the bottom of the second. Peter, base hit into left field. Musin on the move. No throw to home. Play to the Flying Dutchman. Take a 2-0 to zero lead. As Elliot Peter wastes no time and sharply hits that single into left. The Flying Dutchman are on the board. Flying Dutchman had been patient early in the count on McBride, but they wasted no time on that one. Good job hitting in between the hole between third and short. And that'll bring up Owen Krizan to try to keep this rally going here. 2 nothing out, bottom of the second, two out, runners on first and second. Krizan, grounder, the short, easy play. That'll be a fielder's choice and then the threat, but the Flying Dutchman get on the board with a big RBI, two RBI single. Two runs on two hits, no errors, two left on base. We go to the top of the third, Hope 2, trying zero. My name is Megan Bigelow, and during my time there, I was on the Hope women's soccer team. I decided to choose Hope because of the opportunity to be involved in multiple things. I didn't want to go somewhere where I was just a number in the field. I was able to double major, experience both a business academic load as well as economics. I love the opportunity to really get to know my professors. Hope exceeded my expectations. I'm Nate Bauman. As an invested community partner, we're proud to help share Hope's stories of transformational impact. A smile, the universal hello. A friendly welcome and a sign of confidence. A simple smile can brighten someone's day. At Mayu Dentistry, we design beautiful smiles for the whole family. We strive to meet your individual goals with the latest technology to give you a healthy, lasting smile. Mayu Dentistry, where smiles begin. Proud partners of Hope Athletics. Welcome back to Movie Stadium for the third inning of this series finale between the Hope Flying Dutchman and the Trine Thunder. Hope taking a 2-0 to zero lead on Elliot Peters' big hit here with the bases loaded. Graham O'Gorman takes the mound with his first lead of the day. He finishes warm-up tosses. 9-1-2 is... Leading off here for the Thunder. Luke Burford, a freshman from Crown Point, Indiana, will step to the plate for the Thunder. Batting 256 on the season. Three doubles and nine RBIs for Trine. Gorman fires in a strike one. Breaking pitch just misses high, evens the count at one and one. Sharply hit into right field, and that's a base hit. Thunder get their leadoff hitter aboard with their fourth hit of the day, and that'll bring the top of the order. Cole Temple, the freshman. Oh, 0 for 1 today. Ball misses. Temple had squared around to bunt, but that fastball soared up. Had no chance to put that down, but the runner was not on the move yet. So no problem there for the Thunder. Pump, pops it up, but back out of play. Evens the count at one and one. Oh, 
Runner on the move, batter swinging, but fouled out of play back behind us. O'Gorman now up on the count, one and two. Another one fouled out straight back. Got him, Andrew Pickett. Throws him out, ball was at his feet, it took a split second, but he found it and fired it down for out number one. Ball low, count full on the Thunder leadoff batter. Chopper foul down the third baseline. Temple stays alive. Swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt. Pickett fires down to Curzon for out number two. And Runberger now for the Thunder. Runberger has one of Trine's four hits today. A single there in the first but was stranded at second. Curveball in there for strike one. Another breaking ball hit right to Musin at short. Throws over to first and a one, two, three inning. <laughs> in a different way, but we'll count it. Three up and three down for the Thunder. We head to the bottom of the third. Hope two, trying zero. Travis Williams. I'm the CEO of the ODC Network. I graduated from Hope in 1998. I studied biology and then I also played football. In order to be successful, people really need more than just the academic experience, but they need people to come alongside them and help them coach them, mentor them. I find that Hope College has just been one of the best examples of being able to do that anywhere. As an invested community partner, LVZ is proud to help share Hope's stories of transformational impact. Welcome back to the Booby Stadium here. Home opener for the Flying Dutchman. They have a 2-0 lead heading into the bottom of the third. 4-5-6 due up for Hope against uh, McBride. The Saul, Collins, and Gardner for Hope. Saul, chopper, foul. Pitch misses low and inside, evens the count at one and one. And 
Agnes is outside, two and one the count. The right fielder for the Flying Dutchman. Another ball just misses there. Strike the call, runs the count full. Sharply hit out of play. Sharply hit, and that's going to get over the right fielder, tailing. Saul on the move. Charlie will have a stand-up double for the Flying Dutchman. Right fielder thought he had a beat on it, but that ball started tailing away, and it went right over his head. That'll bring up Brendan Collins, looking for his first hit today. We'll have another scoring opportunity, hit into a double play in the first inning with the bases loaded. That kept the Flying Dutchman off the board, but it gets a second chance here in the third. Ball hits the outside corner. Fastball just misses low, evens the count at one and one. This is low, two and one the count. Good patience here from the sophomore. Base hit in the center field. Saul's going to be held. And the center fielder will bring the ball in. The Flying Dutchmen have runners at first and third and nobody out. And that'll bring up Nolan Gardner, the second baseman. Gardner already had an R, or a single in the first inning. Runner back in double play depth. Ball misses low. McBride, this next pitch will be his 50th pitch of the day. Swing and a miss. Nolan took a healthy cut at that one. McBride, though, able to even the count at one and one. Strike on the outside corner. McBride gets ahead one and two here. Devin Musen on deck for the Flying Dutchman. Fly ball, left field. Outfielder is trailing back. That nice catch. But still a sacrifice fly. Collins stays at first. Saul scores. Hope leads three to zero. Devin Musen 
hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Flying Dutchman now pull even with the Thunder with four hits. Most important, they have a three to zero lead. Breaking ball in the dirt. Good job by Henshin, the catcher, to find it quickly. And keep Collins at first. Chopper foul. Head coach Stu Fritz with the nimble hands there. Call that one in. Count even at one and one. Throw back to first. Collins in safely. Rounder to third. Nice scoop by the third baseman. And a nice scoop by the first baseman. Great play on the corner there. And out number two in that inning. Walton with the scoop at the bag at third. And then Nykirk with the scoop at the bag at first. Collins moves to second. Al Money. Money steps to the plate. Al looking for his first hit today. Has an RBI opportunity with Collins in scoring position. Grounder to short. Throw to first, and that'll do it for the Flying Dutchman. But they get one run on two hits, no errors, one left on base. We're through three innings here at Hope College. Flying Dutchman three, trying zero. Welcome back to Booby Stadium, campus of Hope College. Game number three of this three-game series between the Flying Dutchman and the Thunder. Hope with leading three to zero after scoring twice in the second and once in the third. Grandma and Gorman still on the mound. He'll face three, four, five, the heart of the Thunder lineup. And I Kirk leading off. Looking, Dalton looking for his first hit of the day. Senior from Bedford, Indiana. Gorman from the windup. Nice pitch in there for strike one. Mike Kirk, top hitter for the Thunder, just hitting a hair below 400. Swing and a miss on that one, and Old Gorman jumping ahead on the count 0 2. Ball misses upstairs. Swing and a miss. Graham O'Gorman. The 
Tires, the leadoff hitter for the Thunder. And then I'll bring up Walton, looking for his first hit today. This next pitch will be the 50th of the day for Graham. Ball misses inside. Sharply hit to right field. And that's going to be in for a base hit. Saul with a nice turn. Good, strong throw in the second. But a one-out single for the Thunder. They're now five hits on the day. Number 15, Brody Bond. Brody Bond. One for one today. Ball low. Swing and a miss. O'Gorman got him to chase upstairs. A good high fastball. Letter high. Evens the count at one and one. Flags blowing a little bit strongly there and above the scoreboard. Ball misses low. Kind of trailing out to left field, so definitely want to keep that ball down. Ball misses inside, three and one the count. Gorman with a little bit of work to do here. Swing and a miss. Gorman works the count full. Little flare, foul territory. That effort there from Krizan, but not able to haul it in, so the count will remain full. Krizan tried to make an over shoulder running catch, tough one to make. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for O'Gorman. His fifth of the day. That leaves it up to Easton Rhodes. Easton, Easton already with a hit today. Fouled straight back. Swing and a miss. Fouled, actually fouled off. There at the plate. O'Gorman up 0-2 on the trying left fielder. Rhodes will choke up. Breaking ball in the dirt. Good eye there from Rhodes. As Gorman tried to get him to chase. One and two the count. Gilmet on deck for the Thunder should Rhodes reach. Fouled out of play. Rhodes chased that one, but able to get contact on it to stay alive. Gorman from the stretch checks his signs.
Easy grounder to short. Nolan Gardner scoops it up, fires it to Owen Curzon, and that does it for the Thunder. In the fourth. No runs, one hit, one left on base. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Hope three, trying zero. It's no secret. The best way to learn about Hope College is to spend time on our campus. The Hope Admissions team invites you to a personalized visit experience you won't forget. Located in downtown Holland, Michigan, our historic campus is close to shopping and dining and just 10 minutes from Lake Michigan. We invite you to check out our campus tour options or sign up for an online tour with the Hope Admissions office. There's never been a better time to see Hope College. Visit us at hope.edu slash admissions. Welcome back to Bovee Stadium on the campus of Hope College. Blind Dutchman coming up in the bottom of the fourth against trying starter Ryland McBride, making his longest uh, outing of the season. He'll try to keep the Blind Dutchman down, give his teammates a chance to come back here. 9 1 2 do up for Hope. Andrew Pickett will lead off for the Flying Dutchman. Pickett looking for his first hit of the day. Takes ball down low. Another one misses outside. That one misses as well. 3-0 the count. Favor of the Hope catcher. Strike one at the knees. Andrew stepped into the full-time catching role this season. Really done a nice job behind the plate. He draws a leadoff walk. Flying Dutchman been able to get runners on base today, and I think that'll be it for Mr. McBride. His trying head coach, Greg Pershke, heads out. They've had a right-hander warming up in the bullpen for a couple innings. And we will step away for a break as we get a new pitcher, and he'll do his warm-up tosses. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Buster Insurance Agency is a proud sponsor of Hope Athletics. Welcome back to Bovee Stadium, campus of Hope College. Looking to get a number here on a right-hander who's stepped to the mound. Fine Dutchman with the leadoff runner on. Robbie Sturzma looking for his first today. today. He's been hit twice. Today, bringing his total for his career to 51 hits, a runaway uh, leader. And I don't have a 15 on my roster. Oh, it looks like I got... Uh,
Owen Mitchell on the hill, freshman from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Did not have him on my roster initially, but quick sleuthing on the old internet. Came through in Robbie Sturzma steps to the plate. Been hit nine times this season. 21 times he was hit by pitch as a sophomore. He's a magnet for the baseball, but it's not just getting hit by pitches. He can uh, steal bases, hit for power. It's just an all-around threat and an exceptional center fielder is Hope. Pickett on the move. And they get him a nice scoop there by the second baseman. For out number one. Throw was kind of tailing, but came into the runner, and that clears the bases. Line drive right to the shortstop. And quickly, there are two outs here in the fourth. As Sturzma's retired. And then Elliot Peter, the designated hitter, freshman, big hit today, a two-run single in the second, steps to the plate. Mitchell fires in strike one. Ball misses outside. Making his first appearance of the season. Chopper foul. Peter able to stay alive. Breaking ball misses, evens the count at two and two. Good patience there by the freshman not to go chase. Chopper to third. Nice hop and nice throw there from Walton, retires Peter. And we are through four here at Hope College. Flying Dutchman. Three, the Thunder, zero. There is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is Hope. My name is Megan Bigelow, and during my time there, I was on the Hope women's soccer team. I decided to choose Hope because of the opportunity to be involved in multiple things. I didn't want to go somewhere where I was just a number in the field. I was able to double major, experience both a business academic load as well as economics. I love the opportunity to really get to know my professors. Hope exceeded my expectations. I'm Nate Bauman. As an invested community partner, we're proud to help share Hope's stories of transformational impact. Welcome back to Boovie Stadium. Grandma, Gor Grandma Gorman finishing up his uh, warm-up tosses here as we are in the top of the fifth inning here. Hope three, trying zero. Oh, Gorman will face seven, eight, nine here in the Thunder lineup. Gilmed up to bat for the Thunder, looking for his first hit of the day. Thunder are out hitting the Flying Dutchman 5-4, but Hope been able to cash in to take this 3-0 lead. 
Grounder up the middle. Houston moves over behind the bag. Nice toss to first. One pitch, one out. And they'll bring up the catcher, Preston Henschen. Looking for his first hit today. Grounder to first. Owen Krizan with the nice play. Two pitches, two outs for the Flying Dutchman. And that'll leave it up to Burford, who is one for one today. Gorman pounds the inside for strike one. Ball misses low, evens the count. Chopper to third, ball is fair, Al Money. Throw, a nice scoop off, nice easy, not easy hop, but a, better than most. Owen Krizan with a big smile for good reason, a great scoop. The Thunder go one, two, three. We're headed to the bottom of the fifth. 3-0 our score in favor of Hope. Travis Williams. I'm the CEO of the ODC Network. I graduated from Hope in 1998. I studied biology and then I also played football. In order to be successful, people really need more than just the academic experience, but they need people to come alongside them and help them coach them, mentor them. I find that Hope College has just been one of the best examples of being able to do that anywhere. As an invested community partner, LVZ is proud to help share Hope's stories of transformational impact. Welcome back to Movie Stadium here. Bottom of the fifth inning, 3-4-5, the heart of the Hope lineup. The due up against reliever Owen Mitchell. And Owen Krizan will lead it off. Owen looking for his first hit today, but nice piece of leather work on that scoop for the final out of the top of the fifth. Swing, grounder to short. Temple with a nice fire to first, and it's a one pitch, one out. For the Thunder, they'll bring up Charlie Saul, who doubled in his last at bat and scored the third run of the game. He's one for one today. Breaking ball misses outside. Ball right on the outer half of the plate for strike one. Ball misses low and away. Two and one the count. And Hope's right fielder. Took a little something off that. Strike two in the inner half of the plate. Sharply hit down toward the Trine bullpen area. Out of play. Count remains two and two. Ball just misses inside. Runs the count full. Saul so draws a one-out walk. That ball missed upstairs. 
And I'll bring out Brendan Collins, one for two today. Ball misses outside. Ball just misses inside there. 2 and 0 the count. out of play. Good cut there from the Flying Dutchman left fielder. Grounder up the middle. And everybody's safe. Air on the play. Got there in time. Temple did, but just not able to pick it up and even get the force out at second. So the Flying Dutchman get two runners aboard here. First and second. And Nolan Gardner. Nolan one for one today. Gardner with a single and an RBI. That sacrifice fly for Hope. Chopper foul. Ball gets away. Wild pitch. Gardner. Good job of not getting plunked on a cold day. And the wild pitch puts runners in scoring position at second and third. Gardner right, rips it into right field for a base hit. Good strong throw from the right fielder, Bond. Keeps it to just an RBI single. Second RBI of the day for Gardner. Brings up Owen Mewson, or Devin Mewson, excuse me. Strike one, the call. Four zero, hope ahead now. Ball just misses outside. Count runs two and zero. Oh. I drive back up the middle, and that's going to be a double play. As uh, Gardner got caught moving on contact. One hit, one run, one air, one left on base. We're through five. Hope four, trying zero. Students come from diverse backgrounds. 
ready to create an environment where truth is sought, all voices are amplified, and challenges are met with determination and confidence. The Hope Student Body is ready to change the world. It's no secret, the best way to learn about Hope College is to spend time on our campus. The Hope Admissions team invites you to a personalized visit experience you won't forget. Located in downtown Holland, Michigan, our historic campus is close to shopping and dining and just 10 minutes from Lake Michigan. We invite you to check out our campus tour options or sign up for an online tour with the Hope Admissions Office. There's never been a better time to see Hope College. Visit us at hope.edu slash admissions. Welcome back to Bovee Stadium. We're in the top of the sixth inning of this nine-inning scheduled game. Hope adds another run and leads four to zero. Graham O'Gorman continues on the hill. He's yielded five hits, but no runs through five innings. And it'll be the top of the lineup for the Thunder. One, two, three. Temple will lead off. Graham, 68 pitches, 47 strikes so far. Ball misses inside as Temple ducks away. Ball misses upstairs. Graham pitching in the sixth inning for the first time this season. He pitched five innings in the game against Milliken in his last start. Grounder sharply to third. Good scoop for Mal Money. Throws to first. Gorman gets out number one here in the sixth, and then I'll bring up Run Run Runberger. Rumberger, the center fielder, one for two today. Flying Dutchman and the Thunder all even at hits with five apiece. Strike on the inside corner. Chopper to third. Al Money with it. Throws to first for out number two. That'll leave it up to Dalton Nykirk. Dalton 0 for 2 today, but uh, Thunder's best hitter came in hitting 394, so always a threat. Little check swing, just foul. Might have been helpful if that one would have hit the bag and bounced right back to O'Gorman, but just misses foul. Grounder to short. Devin Mewson with it. Throws the first and an easy one, two, three inning for Graham O'Gorman, showing the shades of what made him a seven game winner last season. And we're ahead to the bottom of the sixth. Hope four, trying zero.
Welcome back to Movie Stadium. Here in the bottom of the six, it'll be eight, nine, and one. And the lineup for the Flying Dutchman, Al Money, the third baseman, will lead off here. Al Money looking for his first hit today. Grounder, diving stop, deep in the hole at short. Nice throw there by Temple, but Al Money picks up his first hit of the day. An infield single. The Flying Dutchman get the leadoff hitter aboard. That brings up Andrew Pickett. Pickett looking for his first hit as well. That was the sixth hit of the day for Hope. Andrew has walked. Pickett squares the bunt, puts it down nicely. Played it first. Pickett might beat it out. And it's a base hit. Good hustle there by the Hope catcher. And he gets a bunt signal. The Flying Dutchman will... Take that, put runners at first and second here to lead off in the top of the lineup. Robbie Sturzma. 0 for 1 today, been hit by a pitch twice. Perhaps Flying Dutchman can add some more distance between them and the Thunder here in this series finale. Curveball in there for strike one. Thunder do have a left-hander throwing in the bullpen. Little flare in the center. That's going to drop for a base hit. Kind of a weird ball. It fooled the center fielder. A little kind of nubber almost, but I'll be able to muscle it out for his first hit of the day. And good job by Pickett. That could have easily been a for an unusual force play. But the Flying Dutchman have the bases loaded, nobody out. And they'll bring up Elliot Paul, the designated hitter. One for three today with a big two-run single in the second that opened the scoring for the Flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman now up to eight hits. Peter not able to... Turn on that fastball, take strike one. Breaking ball misses outside, evens the count. Ball misses low and away, two and one. Good patience there from the freshman. Flying Dutchman with a big opportunity here to break this one open. Strike on the outside corner. Two and two the count. Little number. Could be two. Fumble the play and a good hustle there. Another fielding error. Good hustle there by Sturzma. Flying Dutchman keep the bases loaded. Bring up the first baseman, Owen Curzon, take strike one. Thunder had at least a force out there. But just not able to come up with it. Chopper, foul. Five zero, our score here. The Flying Dutchman threatening to add more. Nobody out. Base is loaded. Swing and a miss. Took a little something off that one. And 
They bring up Brendan Collins, the left fielder. Fly ball, center field. Center fielder going back, tracks it, and gets the final out of the inning, but not before the Flying Dutchman add two more runs and head into the seventh inning, leading 6-0. to zero. My name's Emma Dutmers, and I'm a communications major, and then I'm minoring in environmental studies. I play soccer. The first soccer game of my junior year, I tore my ACL. Our athletic trainer, Annie, was there for me right when it happened, and she was there for me literally every step of the way. That was definitely a huge growing opportunity for me, and it was really hard, but it really pushed me to be a leader with more of my voice because I couldn't lead by example on the field. It definitely made me take a step back and realize how much there is to be grateful for. As an invested community partner, LVZ is proud to share hope stories of transformational impact. to Bovee Stadium. We're through three, six innings here. Hope with a 6-0 lead in this series finale. Graham O'Gorman has been sharp on the hill. Kept the Thunder scoreless through six innings and been helped by some timely defense and some timely hitting. And he'll make his, continue his deepest start of the season. I want to give a special shout out to our anchor partners, LVZ Financial Planning, Holland BPW, Lighthouse Title Group and Gentex Cor Corporation, as well as the Borichter family. Grateful for their support of uh, Hope Athletics. Breaking ball in the dirt. Four, five, six, due up for the Thunder in this inning. Walton one for two today. Ball misses inside, two and oh the count. In his last start, Graham made it through five innings. Now up to, this will be pitch 78 so far, best outing of the season. Ball misses low and inside, 3-0 and the count. Nobody up in the bullpen yet. Four pitches and a four-pitch walk for the Thunder leadoff batter, and that brings up Brody Bond. Bond, one for two today. Flying Dutchman looking for the series sweep. One, two down in Angola on Friday. First series of MIAA play for both teams. Strike on the outside corner. Thunder with five hits today. Sharply hit right to money at third. Throw to first, Gardner with a quick turn and a big around the corner. Five, four, three, double play. The Flying Dutchman defense helped their starting pitcher out. And that'll bring up Easton Rhodes. Rhodes one for two today. Great job by Money, ranging to his left and fired a strike to Gardner at second base who was able to make the quick turn. First one fouled out of play over the Hope bullpen. Four double plays today for the Flying Dutchman. They are a pitcher's best friend. Evens the count at one and one after that ball in the dirt. This is high and away. Two and one the count. Pitch number 85 here for Graham. We got a right hander up in the Hope bullpen. Swing and a miss. 
I think that might have been fouled off. Count even at two and two. This has been a big start for Graham, not only just for him, but with a busy week of baseball. Get your six plus innings out of your starting pitcher is huge when you're going to be tested all week. Ball misses low, runs the count full. Chopper, easy hop for Gardner, fires to first. Graham O'Gorman is through seven innings. Our score, Hope 6, tried 0. Hope students are challenged to dig deeper. They're challenged to find their calling and shape their future. They're taught to empower their talents, chase their dreams, and encouraged to make a difference. The Hope student body is ready to change the world. The River Place in downtown Holland redefines active senior living. A no-step floor plan is designed around your needs so you can leave the worries of home ownership behind and enjoy a vibrant lifestyle right outside your door. Make the River Place your home. Visit resthaven.org slash riverplace to reserve yours today. Welcome back to Bovee Stadium. Hope you snuck in a nice seventh inning stretch. Flying Dutchman are up, leading 6-0 to zero in this third game of a three-game series. They will, Flying Dutchman will bat 6-7-8 this inning. Nolan Gardner will lead off. Nolan, two for two today with two RBIs. Mitchell back on the hill for the Thunder, and he gets an off-speed pitch that Gardner misses for strike one. Grounder in the hole at second. Another base hit for Nolan Gardner, and a leadoff single. A little seeing eye grounder there. Nolan will certainly take that. That brings up the shortstop, Devin Mewson. Devin does have a run score today, looking for his first hit. Seven of Hope's nine hitters have hits today. They're up to nine for this contest. Mitchell fires in, strike one. Mitchell checks on Gardner there, throws back. Mewson puts a charge into one, but pulls it foul over the Hope bullpen. That's down in an 0-2 hole. Dutchman scored twice in the second, once in the third, once in the fifth, and two more times in the sixth for their lead. Nice job by Devin Mewson. Just put the bat, lifts it into right field. Kind of a little blooper there, and the Flying Dutchman have two aboard to start in the bottom of the seventh. Bring up Al Money. Al Money, one for three today with a run scored. Tenth hit of the day for the Flying Dutchman. Money squared to bunt, but that ball, break, breaking ball. So, sort outside for ball one.
Line drive over the shortstop. In the left center. Gardner's on the move. He will slide in safely. Money advances to second and hope is ahead. Seven to zero. Andrew Pickett, the catcher. Ball inside. Pickett thought he was hit. Stu Fritz comes to Talk to him about it. 11 hits now for Hope. Get time called by the home plate umpire. Going to confirm or confer here. Not sure if one of them saw him get hit. And certainly starting to pick up. Blustery, chilly day here. On the campus, Hope Hope would love to load the bases and with uh, Robbie Sturzma up. And they're going to call the hit by pitch. Umpires confirm. Bases are loaded. And Robbie Sturzma stepping up to the plate with a big opportunity here. Robbie won for two today. Reached base three times. Plenty of umpire giving Greg Persky the reasoning behind the decision. I think we're going to get a change into the bullpen for the Thunder. Owen Mitchell will exit. And the Thunder will bring in a left-hander for their third pitch of the day. We'll be back after this short timeout. Gentax is a tech company supplying electro-optical products to the global automotive, aerospace, and fire protection industries. With focused competencies in design, vision, displays, software, and more, we're always looking for engineering talent. For our direct hire hourly production positions, we run open interviews Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 at our 58 East Riley facility in Zealand. And our facilities, benefits, and culture are everything you'd expect from a world-class employer. Now's the time to join Team Gentex. Welcome back to Booby Stadium. Looking to get an eye on the number of, looks like 24, Jack Villarreal, a sophomore from Liberty Township, Ohio. We'll take over on the hill. Comes in trying to extinguish a threat. The Flying Dutchman have the bases loaded. One run already in and nobody out. Jack has thrown in uh, six and a third innings so far this season. This will be his seventh appearance. Does have eight strikeouts to two walks. But opponents are batting 308 against him, which has led to a 7.11 earned run average. Looks like we might have another substitution. Robbie Sturzma will bat. We got a new right fielder. Cole Schmidt Huber in into right field for the Thunder. Robbie Sturzma hits that one sharply foul down the third base line. Right 
to the call. Near half of the plate. Sturzma puts a charge into one. That is going to get over the left fielder's head. Musin will score. Money will score. Pickett's on the move. And Robbie Sturzma has cleared the bases. 10 to 0, Hope, on a three run double. And that is going to end it. Ten runs here after seven. The Flying Dutchman sweep the series to start MIAA play with a memorable walk-off hit. Again, thanks for everyone for watching today. Thanks to our anchor partners, LBZ Financial Planning, Holland Board of Public and Works, Lighthouse Title Group, Gentex Corporation, and the Borichter family. This is Alan Babbitt, Sports Information Director. Inviting you to tune in to our next broadcast. It's April. You never know when that's going to be. But uh, we'll look forward to having you in Broadcasting Hope Athletics soon enough. Again, our final score, Hope 10, Trine 0. Students come from diverse backgrounds, ready to create an environment where truth is sought. All voices are amplified and challenges are met with determination and confidence. The Hope student body is ready to change the world.